Hello there, Cougars. It is Tuesday, January 21st, and the month of January is almost over. I know. It's crazy. It's just crazy. Uh, Ms. Driscoll's here with me. She's our orchestra director, and she's going to talk a little bit about a new class that she's offering next year. I am, and it's new on this digital music class, and we get to use these wonderful Akai mini keyboards plugged into your Chromebook and make wonderful music. So if you want to learn more about that, come see me at the registration cruise in room 304. Awesome. All right, so it's an interesting class. We've got a lot of new classes coming up this year, and uh, great stuff being offered by our teachers. So excited for that. Thank you, Ms. Driscoll. All right, uh, shout out to our KV, uh, Kennedy JV basketball team with a big win on Monday night against Western Dubuque with a final score of 66 34, puts them at 8 and 4. Uh, eight players contributed uh, points in the victory and were led by scoring by Addie Albert with 20. And she also had 16 rebounds. Grace Techow had 12 points, snagging three steals and dishing out three assists. Emily Hill led the team in steals with five and added six points. The Cougars shot well as a team, nearly 45% for the night from the floor, including six three-pointers. Sydney Osborne hit three of those three-pointers to finish the night with nine points. So nice job there. Also a big win for our varsity girls last night against Western Dubuque. Tonight we've got basketball. It's game day here at home. We've got boys here at home against Hebstead. The girls are on the road. We'll learn a little more about activities in a minute. Uh, I do want to tell you guys, I'm very proud of you all. Um, we uh, made a point to uh, try to reduce the number of tardies that we had first semester, and it appears that things work. Um, for, uh, we did extend passing time by a minute back to our five-minute time that we had for a very, very long time until the last few years, and uh, that, we believe, has helped. Um, we also had some uh, meetings with students who were repeatedly tardy to classes, and that seemed to help as well. So the results for first semester came in, and they are we, what we d have done is reduce the number of tardies compared to last year by 40%. Uh, that's tremendous, uh, including first period where we had 1,250 fewer tardies for first period this semester compared to last year at the end of the semester. So um, that's a huge, huge change. That means that you're making a conscious effort to get to school on time. Now, that doesn't mean that we're where we want to be. We still have had over 6,000 tardies this semester. That's a lot of tardies if you think about it. Um, and so we want you to learn to be on time. It is a very important disposition when you enter the job market, when you are um, uh, dealing with people that you want to impress, friends, it's rude to be late, and so we want to make sure that we are, are teaching you the importance of being on time. So keep up the good work, and as Mr. Williams would say, if you're on time, you're late. The other night, uh, the girls' varsity basketball team lost to Washington 53-46. to Their record on the season is now 6-5. and five. They were led in scoring by Cameron Ray with 15 points, and Sophia Barrett had 14. Sadie Powell collected 7 rebounds. And uh, they had 4 games in the week, so come on out and support them uh, this upcoming Friday. Uh, there will be a short game, or short meeting rather, after school Wednesday in room 164 for all girls interested in going out for tennis this spring. All girls 9 through 12, please attend. Uh, if you cannot attend, please see Coach Benedict for more information in room 164. There's a mandatory sign up for boys track at 3 p.m. in the cafeteria tomorrow, Wednesday, January 22nd. Important information uh, for the upcoming season will be shared at that meeting. Ms. Magnuson's first semester art students, don't forget to stop by room 303 to pick your things up. Uh, reminder, we will be having Cougar Advisory next week, a very special Cougar Advisory. Uh, it will be Wednesday for A and C lunches and Thursday for B and D lunches. The deadline for signing up is Monday. And uh, if you would like to be a participant in the upcoming interviews for our new associate principal, uh, please come to Cougar Advisory. We will have application information at Cougar Advisory. We'd like for you uh, to come on out and be part of that. And don't forget, there's free pizza. Seniors, do, did you forget to turn in yearbook photos or quotes? Well, lucky for you, it's not too late. The yearbook has, been ex the yearbook has extended the deadline to Saturday. Submit your photo to Jostens or your quotes to tinyurl.com slash khsquotes. Act now before it's too late. And also seniors, but also juniors as well, CPR, is a graduation requirement. If you've not completed it, you need to take care of that on February 4th or 5th in the gym, either during your PE class or on a release. Or if you don't have either of those, you'll have to ask a teacher to let you out. This is the last time CPR will be offered for the school year at Kennedy. So take advantage, seniors, if you're not sure if you need to meet this requirement, or if you've not already met this requirement, see Ms. Mead in room 252. And a reminder, the class of 2022 academic assembly has been rescheduled to Wednesday, January 29th during homeroom. Uh, what it says in the announcements is not correct. It's not at 8.30. It's during homeroom. And the class of 2021 assembly has been rescheduled to Thursday the 30th at, during homeroom. 
activities for today. Uh, we've got basketball. Uh, the boys, freshmen, are here at home. Uh, girls, JV, and girls varsity is at uh, Dubuque Hempstead. And the boys, sophomore, and the boys varsity are here at home versus Dubuque Hempstead. Come on out and cheer on your Cougs. Birthdays today. Happy birthday to Reagan Zachman, Tyler Deer Deerling, uh, Elizabeth Stone, Hannah Brandt, Sarah Kaufman, and Bianca Hobson. Happy birthday to all of you. I hope it's a great day. High fives. Lunch menu for today. I've got nothing. The lunch menu is blank. All it says is salad, subs, and parfaits and hot dogs on station three. So it's mystery. You'll find out when you get there. I hope it works out for you. Cougars, hope you have a great day today. I hope you treat each other with kindness and respect. And as always, go Cougs.